Welcome to its traffic. In this video, we are going to discuss question number 14 of chapter 6, which is array in C. In this program, we have to declare three integer array. There will store subjects of three subjects marks of 10 students, means its array will have size of 10, and after that, we'll have to calculate average of each student and we'll have to store it in different array. After that, we'll compare the average mark and if the student get above 45 will declare as pass otherwise will declare as fail so let's do the program to do this C program I am using decoder in mobile this app you can download from play store so this is decoder interface after that you will go to create then files in files menu you will get this some templates here you can choose c template give the file name as i am doing question number 14 so i am giving question file name as q14 dot c after that create or dot c is not required dot c is already there Q14. Now file is created and by default we will get some example lines. We can remove these lines like compiler version these things not required this is not necessary. So I am removing these lines and here printf and return 0 that two line also there so I am removing that two line also. At first line we have to declare three variables three arrays. So we'll write int. Suppose my first subject is s1, and in square bracket we will give the size. Here brackets will get in just below the keyboard. So 10. After that comma s2 and square bracket size will be again 10. Again comma now subject 3 s3 square bracket size 10 again comma now average avz square bracket size 10 after that we'll have one more variable i that is required for loop purpose and after that we'll need semicolon here is the semicolon now we'll go to the next line here we are going to use for loop so for we'll put simple bracket first i and we'll write here equal one equal one then semicolon i then we'll write less than equal to 10 again semicolon i then we'll put plus plus now we'll come to the next line we'll put curly braces and inside the loop we will write first printf statement and inside bracket we'll write within double inverted comma enter marks for roll number percent d percent d and after that also will put slash n so all the symbols which are necessary for your program you will get in just below the keyboard only comma our variable will be here i means the message will come like this way enter marks for roll number one it's not b it should be a space then we will put semicolon and we'll move to the next line here we'll write printf and within bracket we'll write and subject one 
then slash n after that semicolon then scan app statement and here we will write percentage d that percentage d should be within double inverted comma so percentage d because we are scanning an integer and it will store inside the variable s1 so we'll write first we'll record m person symbol this is a address operator after that we'll write s1 and within square bracket we'll give as i after that semicolon here is the semicolon and these two line we have to repeat two more time because we have s2 and s3 so we can do one thing we can copy these two line so that we can save our time we'll copy it then we are going to paste these two lines like once time one time and one more time we have to do it two times so again we'll go here clipboard and this one now just we have to do here uh, in second time in place of subject 1 we'll write subject 2 third line in place of subject 1 we'll write subject 3 and even in scanf statement also in place of s1 we will write subject s2 and here in place of s1 we will write s3 because we have three variable s1 s2 s3 so our input per work has done now we can calculate the average mark within this loop only for that just we have to write one more line we will write a v z then within square bracket we will write i equal so to take outing the average from these three marks we what we will do we will add these three numbers and after that we will divide the number by three so we will write s then one in square bracket i then we will write plus operator then s2 within square bracket we will write i again plus operator again we will write s3 within square bracket i and these three numbers will put inside a bracket simple bracket so we need only starting one closing one here will cut again here we will do, do it close and after that divide we will write 3 that means for each student it will collect three numbers it will add these three numbers divide the number by three and that result will be stored inside the average variable so this part done now we have to display the result we have to check whether the student got 45 or 45 above or not if they got 45 then we'll display as pass otherwise we'll display as fail So for that now we will go to the next line, we will put another for loop, that result also we can display here only but first we will collect the number then we will display the result. So here we will write for loop 4 and here the same statement i equal 1, i less than equal 10. sorry i equal 1 then i less than equal 10 then i plus plus after that we'll go to the next line we'll put the loop bracket we'll go again next line here we'll write if condition if and in bracket we will write a v z and in square bracket we will write i a v z i that means the first students average mark greater than equal to so we will write greater than equal to 
45 then in here we will display first we'll put block bracket that one curly brackets for just one statement without bracket also we can write but as you are new in programming you will not much care about spaces and all so better to give the brackets here we are going to write one printf statement and in this printf statement we are going to write rule number one within double inverted comma so rule number results for rule number one like that we'll write first so result for rule number percentage d after that slash n and in place of d we are going to display the value of variable i and here put semicolon we'll write one more printf statement printf and here we will display the average mark so average then we'll put two colon or we can give also equal sign but colon will be much better it will look standard then percent d slash n here we will write the variable as a v g then in square bracket i then semicolon one more printf statement here will display the result printf and in bracket we will write result then colon here we'll write pass then slash n after that semicolon now these three lines will write uh, copy it and we'll paste it in else part just there we'll do little bit changes so first we will copy these three lines we'll select this three line and we'll copy it now we'll come out from the if statement here we'll write else means if the student get below 45 then then again we'll put loop bracket here we'll paste the copied part of the program here we'll write result for roll number then average and here the last line in place of pass we will write fail so we'll cut the pass part and we'll write here fail and now we will come out from the for loop means this the second bracket we have to uh, keep care on the brackets whatever bracket we start we have to close it otherwise the program will not work so we'll come out from the bracket now here we will write return r should be small return 0 then we'll put semicolon now this our program completed as you can see this is our complete program we can make it more lo more longer but or shorter but i have uh, completed in medium size not so long not so short also as your student uh, you have to learn how the program works so i have not used the shortcuts now let's compile the program for compiling we have to use here play button and if you are doing it code block you will have one button debug and run there you will click not on the run you will have two buttons one green and yellow and one directly green we'll click on the green and yellow means debug and run so let's compile it now let's compile the program there is no mistake so directly output and came enter the marks of rule number one let it be 23 then in subject to 34 and subject 3 it's a 32 
Now rule number 2 is marked 45, 46, then 47. Rule number 3 is marked 67, 78, then 76. Rule number 4 is marked 66, 77, 55. Rule number 5 marks 22, 32, 12. Rule number 6 marks 34, 25, 43. Rule number 7 marks 78, 89, 88. Rule number 8 marks 80, 89, 85. Rule number 9 marks 98, 99, 96. Rule number 10 marks 45, 34, 60. So here I have entered all the 10 mar student marks. Now it should come the results. Let's see. So here are the results. Results for rule number 1 average, fail, pass. And here you see in place of average directly percentage D can. That means I have missed something in the program. So let's go back and see what I have missed. Here we will give percentage D, then we can put one space. Here also after percentage D we will put one space. That uh, modulus symbol was not perfect, that's why it does not work. So again execute the program. So again we have to write 30 marks. Let's do it. Subject 1. So here we have entered 3 students marks or uh, 10 students marks. Now it should come results with the percentage. So here you can see results for rule number 1 average 26 fail. Result for rule number 2 average 46 pass. Result for rule number 3 66 pass. 76 pass. 19 fail. 65 pass. 58 pass. 29 fail. 44 fail. 26 fail. So this way you can do question number 14 of chapter 6. I hope you have understood and you will get the code in description, not in description, in comment section or even in telegram channel so that you can practice it in your mobile. Thank you for watching. See you in a new video. Till then take care and bye.